Scott, tonight, what did you feel was kind of the real defining moment for, for your team and able to dominate St. Cloud? Like oh, I don't want to dominate. I thought, I thought uh, Carson and Swains and Jared got us going, and I think uh, that was a key. I thought, I thought those guys were going pretty good. I thought, I thought Carson and Swains really had their legs tonight. I thought they were, they were good. Obviously, uh, we got the lead and kept building on it. it was, I thought the, the PK did a good job. Obviously, it was nice to get a couple of shorties. So we won the special teams game because we didn't get many power play opportunities. But um, just overall, I, I thought our guys uh, came ready to play. I thought our first period defensively was good. Um, we still got to clean up with the puck. I thought we had, again, too many turnovers and against this team. Uh, we need to clean that up and we need to clean up moving forward. But uh, overall, I just a really, I thought it was a good win for our team. Um, you know, um, so we'll take it and move on. How important was that goal by Joey at the end of the first there after you guys saw one kind of mysteriously wiped off the board? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's still, uh, you know, we still had a two goal lead and I still don't, I still haven't seen the video on the goal, but um, it is what it is. But, you know, our guys, I think, showed a lot of resolve. They didn't panic. They went out there and, you know, we got another goal and that was, that was big. I mean, it kind of, you know, didn't give them any life and um, we carried that over into the second period as well. But, uh, you know, you got to play three periods against these teams. So I, I thought tonight we did a better job and just a couple areas I think we can get better at. The penalty kill, the two shorties that you guys mm -hmm. got, is that kind of an extension of how confident these guys mm -hmm. are? And, and, and do you guys maybe take those risks and chances on the PK uh, if, if, if you're not as solid as you have been on there? Uh, I don't know. I mean, you look at the... Mm, Sometimes you get opportunities up the rink, and I thought uh, I thought Richie did a you know showed a lot of a lot of poise. Like everyone's wanting him to get his first goal, and you know he he made a great play, and you know again Swain's made a good play. Um, those two guys can really skate, and I, I you know both goals were nice goals. I mean they were hard working goals, and you know were you know sometimes on the PK you get you can look for those opportunities. We weren't looking for it. I mean those things just they happened, and those our guys kind of capitalized and finished on it. I know you're up 3 all after the first, but you also know that they got some weapons on offense. What was your message after the first period? Keep the foot on the gas. Like, uh, you know, we had some momentum after that period. They had three shots on net. They, we didn't give them a lot offensively in the first period. You know, we knew they were going to, you know, come out better. Um, just make sure we, we stay out of the box and, and keep doing the things we were doing. And just, again, take care of the puck. Play good defensively, but don't sit back here. You know, we got to keep going, and I think our guys... Uh, you know, did a decent job of that. But again, I'm just say the puck thing. You know, you gotta take care of it. Mm. All the lines played well. Everybody yeah, played everyone well. played good. You know, Chip played good again, and you know, again, another game where there wasn't a ton of shots. But yeah. you know, we we capitalized on our opportunities, and that's what you have to do against these types. You know, good teams. And maybe you have to schedule uh, Bank Kido every week. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I like playing them. They're a good team too. You know? yeah, right. But again, when you keep playing good teams, you know, again in our league and whether it's non-conference, you, you have to get better. And uh, you know, tomorrow will be uh, an even tougher game. But uh, I, I like uh, I liked how we uh, we play tonight. We can always get better. Um, again, a little emotion before the game with Andrew. So maybe this one was for AC. Yeah. You know, because I think our guy, a lot of our guys played hard, and that's how he played. Cars. How big a moment was it when your goal gets waved off and, and Joey and Scotty come right back and, and put that goal in seconds later? How big of a momentum change was it? Yeah, that? yeah, that's huge. I thought uh, I thought right away in the first we were kind of on our heels there, and then um, and then we were able to pop a couple in the net and, and get a little momentum. So I think that uh, that just kept kept the momentum going, and it was uh, it was nice to end the first like that. And nice to see a young team like this. That I thought that was a real moment of resiliency, a defiance of you guys. You know, shove it right yeah, back. You know, yeah. in in uh, fortune's face to to go back up three nothing. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, call it what you want, but that that was just a, a product of hard work there by by mm -hmm. a lot of people, and uh, and that, that that's kind of what we were missing in the first half. I think guys would have had their bobbers down a bit in the first half there, and, and that's good. I, we're we're learning here, and and uh, we're going in the right direction.
the two shorties then at the end of the second there. Well, what were you guys seeing on the, the PK that was allowing things to, to open it up? Because you guys had a number of chances yeah. uh, to, to score. Yeah, I thought that that was another hard-working play there. Both of them were, um, I thought we were able to win a, win a battle in both situations and get the puck up the ice and, and pretty fortunate to, to put them both in the net. So I think that was a, a good all-around effort by the four guys. But obviously when you're, when you're killing penalties, your first job is to kill a penalty and then, uh, and then uh, get a break like that and put the puck in the net. You saw the hit coming too, right? The short angle, you knew you were going to pick. Yeah, yeah, he ju just missed me. So I, that was good, fortunate. Carson, the, uh, the two shorties that you guys are able to put in, does that happen if, if this PK hasn't been as strong as it's been and as confident as it's been? Yeah, I think you said it. Uh, PK's confidence is huge right now. Um, we, we work on it uh, tirelessly during the week. Um, we do a good job of game planning for, for whatever other teams are going to throw at us. And I thought the execution has been there lately, especially in the second half. But if you guys are giving up chances and maybe not as, as you know stalwart as you guys have been in the PK, yeah. you're not taking the chances that you. you yeah, took definitely, there the second, definitely. Right? Yeah, guys are gassed late in a PK or something, and maybe maybe somebody goes for a change or doesn't jump up at the play like we did there, and and uh, and yeah, we were fortunate to put those two in, in the net. The hiccup Tuesday in Mankato, just how odd that, that game was. Yeah. How nice was it for the guys to, to just pick up where, where you left off in that North Dakota series yeah. tonight? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, that Mankato one was a huge one um, for pairwise and whatnot in our last non-conference game. But but I think, yeah, I think we just turned the page. That's something that we've been doing a good job of here and uh, turned the page and got back after it tonight. It was good for our guys. NCHC play, Jack guys up a little more too maybe than, than a non-conference game on a Tuesday? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think uh, I think we had great fans tonight too. Guys were guys were uh, fired up, feeling their legs, and um, and it was it was good for us. Get back in the conference play here, and then we got a we got a heavy stretch coming up. Well, what's going to be the key to continue in this uh, tomorrow against St. Cloud to keep that that same energy, kind of like what we saw against North Dakota? Yeah, obviously they're a good team. They're going to make adjustments, and, and they're going to come. Nobody likes getting swept, and and uh, and we realize that too. So I think it's it's important to get out early. Um, get back to putting pucks on the net, kind of like we were doing there in the first. Pucks on the net and bodies at the net, and uh, and hopefully jump on them early again. Uh, 3 0 lead after the first 20 is uh, big, but you still have 40, min 40 more minutes to play. Is there anything specific for some of the guys just trying to keep their foot on the gas? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think uh, I think we kind of calmed down there after the first a bit. Um, um, we realized we were in a pretty good spot, but we we also have to respect how much offensive power they have. I mean, they got guys with with 10 plus goals all over the lineup sheet, so. Um, I think it was big for us to, to get a couple in the second there too and then get back at it. Joey, take us through that goal that you scored at the end of the first there. I thought it was a, a huge momentum shift after a goofy video review took away Carson's second. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I don't, I'm kind of blanking right now on what happened in the D zone. I know, you know, we had a nice battle when I think Wolfie pinned a guy, got a battle in, and puck popped out to Scotty, and, and we had a two on one up the ice. and. Um, Scotty held it, baited the defenseman in, and, and just slid it over to me, and I just one-timed it back in the net. And um, you know, yeah, it was huge momentum for our team, I think. And uh, you know, get that three-goal lead going in the first intermission was big. How big of a difference is a, a three-goal lead compared to a two-goal lead when you're going into a second period? Well, you know, I just think from a confidence standpoint in our locker room, mm -hmm. uh, you know, not to say we were relaxing more, but just it, you know, was a little bit better, uh, you know, a little bit better feeling in the locker room than being mm -hmm. only two and. Uh, you know, it's tough to climb out of that three goal hole. So uh, I think, uh, you know, we did a good job though coming back in the second period really strong and uh, obviously some big uh, short handed goals for us there, which was uh, really good to see. What was kind of the feeling after you guys think? Everyone thinks Carson makes it a three nothing game. Uh, what was kind of the feeling like after, after that goal gets waved off? Any dip in confidence at all? Or? No, just I think, you know, get back on him, you know, mm -hmm. and, and uh, we got to go get the next one. You know, it was, uh, um, you know, you can't control. Mm -hmm. Calls like that, and uh, you know what, whatever we think it was doesn't matter. Um, we had to go play the game, and, and that was a really big response for us to go out and get another one quick. Surprised how quickly that response came, though. Or ah, uh, no, I think uh, you know the response could have came in a way we played the game too. Yeah. I don't even think as much just you know the fact that we got uh, a two on one and finished the playoff mm -hmm. was was really huge. I think, uh -huh. but um, you know it was more just you know the way we played and winning those battles and stuff like that was huge for us and uh, um, you know that set the tone I think throughout the whole game. How about the pass of that two on one? Did you think that was a little late or do you think it was not coming? It was, it was amazing how we waited until the last instant. Oh ah, yeah no I uh, I thought it was definitely coming. Scotty's a bit of a passer as you all know and uh, um, so I figured he was passing the whole time and um, just had to wait for it to come and uh, you just you know, go to the net and know it'll get there at the right time right? Oh yeah, yeah. stick on the ice make sure I'm ready for it when it does come. Joey, the penalty kill to, to go to a whole new level tonight and score the two shorties that you guys did. Uh, 
was there something you guys saw going into this game that okay there's gonna be some short-handed chances here or, or what was going on that opened things up for you guys to, to put those two in no i think we were just you know we came into it we knew we wanted to pressure them and and we did and and we ended up getting some pucks with some bounces and and we just went and uh you know obviously once we went guys made great plays with the puck and and, yeah. and finished them off so uh you know, I think that was that was just the the whole thing was just you know working hard and, and making sure we pressured them and and we ended up getting chances tonight off of that. Uh, Played another good team tonight. So what was kind of the main emphasis coming into tonight? Uh, you know, we just got to be ready to match their speed. They're a really fast team. They make plays at a high speed, and we got to make sure we're ready for that. And and you know we were, and uh, you know we came out and, and we had our feet going, got them going early, and uh, I think just. Uh, you know, that was the biggest thing, just making sure we were ready to go for a, a skilled, fast uh, St. Cloud team. Not changing much for tomorrow night, then I take it? Oh, no, yeah, I think just make sure we're, uh, you know, we're rested tonight and get ready to go for tomorrow.